Good morning children and welcome to our penultimate week of this term. Let's start off with this week's Rolo's Roundup. Rolo, over to you. Good morning children, it's Rolo here ready for this week's Rolo's Roundup. And this week, my favourite day of the year. This Friday is Christmas Jumper Day. And Christmas Jumper Day is a day when children and grown-ups wear their Christmas jumpers to school or to work and they donate money to Save the Children. Save the Children is such an important charity. It helps children who are less fortunate than we are it helps them in all sorts of different ways. Now, we won't be collecting money in school this year, but what you can do is donate money. And there's a link on the December newsletter that your parents can even press the link or they can scan with their telephone and it'll take you straight to the Save the Children Christmas Jumper Day and you can donate any money, however much you can afford. Now then, it is the 10th year of Save the Children's Christmas Jumper Day this year. So shall we make it an extra special day? I would love to see you all in your Christmas jumpers this Friday, the 10th of December. And I promise I'll be wearing mine too. Miss Foley's bought me a special one just for this year's Christmas. So remember Christmas Jumper Day and let's be really generous and donate as much money as we can. That's it for Rolo's Roundup this week. Have a great week, everyone. Cheerio. Thank you, Rolo. And I look forward to seeing you, boys and girls, in your Christmas jumpers on Friday. Now for this week's story. I've chosen this beautiful story. It's called When I Covered the World. It's by an Iranian poet uh, called Ahmad Reza Ahmadi. And I just love the illustrations. I love the fact this book is about hope. But I think it's also about gratitude. It's being grateful for what we have and not focusing on the negatives in life, but focusing on the positives. So I hope you enjoy this story and the illustrations as much as I do. When I covered, when I coloured the world. My mum gave me a box of crayons for colouring and an eraser to rub, out, rub things out with. So guess what I did? Desert. I wrote out the word desert. I wrote the word roses. Roses. Red. With my red crayon, I made roses grow all over the world. I gave the world red. Darkness. I rubbed out the word, the word darkness. I wrote the word light with my yellow crayon. Light. Yellow. With my yellow crayon, I made lights come on all over the world. I gave the world yellow. Boredom. I rubbed out the word boredom. I got my blue crayon and I wrote playing. Playing. Sky blue. All over the world, people played. I gave the world sky blue. Drought. I rubbed out the word drought. I wrote rain with my silver crayon. Silver, rain. I made it rain all over the world and everyone had to put up umbrellas. I gave the world silver. Hunger. I rubbed out the word hunger. I wrote wheat with my green crayon. Green, wheat. I made wheat grow in fields all over the world. I gave the world green. War. I rubbed out the word war. I got my light blue crayon and I wrote peace with it. Light blue, peace. All over the world, news came from radios saying that all the wars had stopped. After that news, the radios played such lovely music that flowers bloomed in empty vases. I gave the world light blue. Winter. I rubbed out the word winter. 
I use my orange crayon to write spring. Orange, spring. All over the world, snow melted. Primroses and violets and orange blossoms flowered so that children could sleep with a lovely flowery scent all around them. I gave the world orange. Noise. I rubbed out the word noise. I wrote song with my dark blue crayon. Dark blue, song. All over the world, my song made children so happy that they danced. I gave the world dark blue. Crying. I rubbed out the word crying. Instead, I wrote laughter with my blue, with my purple crayon. Purple, laughter. Now all over the world, mothers danced and laughed with their children. I gave the world purple. Storm. I rubbed out the word storm. In its place, I wrote breeze with my violet crayon. Violet, breeze. Around the world, people opened their doors. They went outside to chat to each other in the sunny breeze. I gave the world violet. Illness. I rubbed out the word illness. I got my pink crayon and I wrote health instead. Pink, health. All over the world, people who had been ill were suddenly well. They ran with their friends and were happy. I gave the world pink. Old age. I rubbed out the words old and age. Instead, I used my orange crayon to write people. Orange, people. And all over the world, nobody minded at all whether somebody, was, somebody else was young or, or old. They were just interested in each other. I gave the world orange. Flood. I rubbed out the world the word flood. Instead, I wrote drizzle with my silver crayon, just as I had used it to write rain. Silver, drizzle. Around the world, harvests were saved. I gave the world silver. Despair. I rubbed out the word despair. I wrote hope with my yellow crayon. Yellow, hope. All over the world, children smiled. They ran into the fields and up the hills, looking at the beautiful new life grown all around. I gave the world hope. And so children, I would like you to think about this week. How could you change the world? If you had a colored crayon, what word would you write down and rub out and what new word would you replace it with? And colors make us feel different emotions like happy and sad or angry. And what color would your new word be? How will it make you feel? What colours don't you like? Maybe after you finish assembly today with your class, you could discuss that and maybe think about words that you could change and what colours you would use and why. I hope this week you have a wonderful week full of colour, full of positivity and full of happiness and hope. Have a great week, everyone.